Welcome to this quick walkthrough of a uh, lighting on the shoot with Anel Alexander. Um, generally, as you know, there's a lot of preparation on any shoot. Uh, the things that need to happen beforehand is a venue and stylists, makeup artists, props, clothing and jewelry. Uh, all of those things are very basic. But on the day, you need to do extra setups and do basic lighting tests, double check and select the wardrobe and the jewelry that fits with the wardrobe, prepare the model with makeup and hair and so on. Uh, those are all the basic things that you generally do on any shoot, so we're not going to spend too much time on that. Uh, just something to note that Luba was shooting with a Canon 5D Mark II um, and with a Canon 70-200mm f2.8L lens, usually around 135mm jumping between f8 and f11 uh, depending on the depth of field that you wanted. Uh, most of it was ISO 100 or 200 and um, yeah that's the basics of most of the shoots. Okay in the first setup that we did it was uh, inside the, the farmhouse and uh, the, it's got very thick walls and the window on the outside is in the shade so we needed to get the backlit flare light coming through the windows uh, but still to look natural and that was a little bit difficult for most of the part. Um, the glass doors were nice but we needed a lot of light so what we ended up doing is to set up two reflectors outside a large two meter reflector and a smaller one meter on a stand and plus a Canon 5AT on a softbox with a pocket wizard uh, trigger. Inside we reflected some of the light coming from outside back into the model's face, into Anel's face, with a standard circular reflector. Uh, and inside we also used two Profoto D1 500 watt lights. Uh, all of these were triggered with Pocket Wizard Plus 2s. The D1 lights had standard reflective white umbrellas that comes with a travel kit. We uh, then moved to the other side of the house where the sun was actually shining on a colored glass doorway. So we wanted to keep that colored glass um, light coming through the backdrop but we needed to balance a very dark interior. It's got very small windows, double story um, interior. Uh, we needed to balance that light out. So we did that by placing two 500 watt Profoto D1 backs far and high over Luba's right shoulder um, to give light to the interior and then we needed to shape the light and that we did by placing a one meter gold reflector on the stairs right behind the model um, and slightly to the side. Uh, next to the stair we fitted a 60 centimeter small softbox on a Canon 580EX flash unit. It's a small little gap so we couldn't fit anything bigger in there and it needed to light up the background a bit without overwhelming it. So we also flagged that um, small softbox with a black cover, about half of it, to stop any light spool falling onto a nail. And then uh, last but not least we shaped the front light and made it nice and soft for main light with a 2 meter white reflector which we lit up halfway to the top with an undiffused Canon 580 in a 40cm softbox and that in the end gave us the most neutral, natural interior light matched with the outside sun coming through the coloured windows. At this point uh, we moved outside and essentially did all the lighting with white, silver and gold reflectors uh, depending on what the sun was doing at that specific point in time and if we wanted a lot of light, colored light or just a little bit of fill in the shadow areas. Uh, we also, the reflectors also doubled up as um, handy wind machines. Just. Uh, Marika was our makeup artist and uh, she also provided some jewelry and she was absolutely awesome at making a lot of wind for us even though it wasn't really her job so we thank her for that one. We then went back into the house and we were shooting in the kitchen 
um, the lighting set up there again we wanted that flare light from outside and it was starting to get late so obviously no sun coming through there what we had to do is to create three light sources so the first one was the main light coming from outside the flare light um, and that we used the Canon 580 with a 60 centimeter softbox outside again triggered with a pocket wizard and then to the right of the model we hid a 40 centimeter softbox also with a 580 um, Canon flash gun and a pocket wizard inside a cupboard that was the only space where we could place it it's inside a food cupboard and then on the left hand side as you look at the model the model's right uh, we just pasted up a, a big two meter gold reflector to bring in more light uh, from the other side so we've got a pretty decent 60 40 lighting split um, left and right of the model and the main light coming from behind after the sun had already set but we still needed more light and the easiest thing that we quickly needed to run down before we lose every all the available light was to use one of the 580 Canon flash guns in a 60 centimeter softbox that um, Carleen, Lubas assistant, just carried around at a constant distance away from the model so that we've got even light through the whole setup.